Hey, welcome back. It's a fantastic Friday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. We're breezing through hour two, and uh, we're at the uh, Newsmax headquarters in Midtown Manhattan. We're in the uh, Question Tequila Studios. Frank is getting so fed up with me today that he's asked me to mix him up a second cocktail. That's what I'll do. Um, but before that, let's take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, bursting through into triple digits, now up uh, 127 points. And uh, you may remember my uh, advice that I've told you time and time again. Do not take any financial advice from me. Don't invest based on anything I've said on the show. Um, and if you do invest in stocks or cryptocurrencies and you want to have a fail-safe methodology, if you go in with it and educated uh, and expect to lose every penny, you'll set the ball low enough that you'll always have a happy ending. But uh, it's a happy day for us in terms of uh, today's employment numbers. Still better, but not as good as expected. And it's always uh, better than expected when uh, Jonathan Bell joins us. He's an employment attorney. Uh, he's the founder of uh, Bell Law. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Hey, Johnny, Frank, thanks for having me. The uh, numbers, to me, as long as they're still good, even if they're not as great as the estimations, because there's always these readjustments and two months uh, back adjustments. Um, oh, you're in the employment field where people are coming to you screaming about current employers. Do you think the state of new jobs, new employment, is better or worse right now? I think they continue to increase from what I'm generally seeing and reading. Uh, I think we're still on a very uh, positive trend, and hopefully it continues in that way. Um, uh, everything that I've seen so far leads me to believe that it, it, it's expected to continue. What's the, um, at your practice, uh, your work, workplace uh, attorney, and, you know, um, what's the biggest case you're seeing right now? Because a lot of our audience members, they're entrepreneurs, they're business people. What kind of legal tips do you have? Like, hey, try not to do this because this is one of the leading things that causes people to call Jonathan Bell. Right. So uh, my segment's not long enough to cover everything Give that I do. Give me a I couple do, of but, big ones. You know, like, the sexual harassment, obviously the Me Too movement has been huge for the practice. AIDS discrimination, discrimination in general. And then you have the wage and hour type cases, people being misclassified as independent contractors versus employees. So they try to, they, sometimes employers try to uh, not pay people overtime, so they misclassify them. So those are the types of cases that we've, we're constantly getting calls on. So since you mentioned the Me Too movement and the Me Too era, we're about two years into this Me Too movement, and there's a big study out of the University of Colorado which shows that even though women are, reported, are reporting less complaints of sexual harassment, there's a new kind of complaint that has made its way into the workplace, and that is sexism. Women are reporting gender discrimination because apparently, go figure, men are afraid of being accused of sexual harassment and they don't want to work with women. What are you seeing and does this study ring true to you? Yeah, so I'm definitely seeing an uptick of calls. Less calls on the sexual harassment front, but gender discrimination has sexual harassment and non-sexual. The non-sexual claims are significantly increasing. So what happens is men are taking the opposite approach and they're saying, hey, we don't want to be around women. I don't want to do a one-on-one -on -one conference with a woman. I need a witness. Meanwhile, they'll meet a man without a witness. You have to treat people equally. The crazy thing is October 9th of this year, there's a deadline. Every single employer and employee has to undergo sexual harassment training. Period. And that's the proper way to do things. Listen, don't exclude women from social gatherings or corporate events because you're afraid they're going to me to me. Well, that's I, not going to happen. I hear you, Jonathan, but it, let's say you do have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a woman as opposed to a man. Let's say you do nothing wrong. And let's say, for whatever reason, this female co-worker has some sort of a problem with you. Uh, maybe uh, she doesn't like your politics. Maybe she doesn't like uh, your clothing. Maybe she doesn't get along with your girlfriend. Maybe any of a number of different scenarios. Um, um, isn't it, she can make an allegation of sexual harassment against that person or something worse than sexual harassment and that guy's reputation even if he's done nothing wrong is completely ruined I don't blame men for being a little intimidated about why, about working f with women in the workplace well the correct way to handle it is if you feel like you want to have a witness when you're meeting with a woman one-on-one, -on -one, then you should treat the men the same way. What's, what's stopping a man from making up a complaint that this, that this male hit on them? The fact of the matter is, 
we know people. We deal with people all the time, okay? <laughs> yeah. 99.9% .9 of people are not going to just sit there and make a complaint about sexual harassment yeah, but simply it because it happens. Everything happens. It could happens. be a year and a half later when they didn't get the promotion they wanted. So, you know what? Uh, Bill, uh, he put his hand on my leg. Well, and sure. when, I, well, uh, when I rebuffed his advance, I knew from that moment on that I was never going to get treated fairly. I want to ask you this but in our last minute. Mm. How many men do you represent? Is there a he too movement? Uh, because in the, I've been okay, in situations, so, and I know men who've been in situations who've been harassed by women, sure. you know, um, sexually or suggestively. Um, do men ever bring cases against so, women executives? So that, that's happened in the past. Most of the men cases I have are either they, they are homosexual or they're being um, hit on, on someone who they feel like they're sexually harassed against someone who is a homosexual. Those are the types of cases. But men, we represent them on race case, age cases. But just going back to the point quickly. People get into motor vehicle accidents all the time. Mm -hmm. That means you're not going to drive. You can't be afraid that maybe, potentially, one day a woman's going to land a, a, a false claim on you because you're scared that, again, 0.001% might do that. Got it. Hey, uh, that's why we bring on Jonathan Bell to give you a few tips. Um, PwC has a study out that 72% of executives polled uh, would prefer to go on a business trip with a man rather than a woman because they feel like it's a, a risk in this environment. So um, good luck. And uh, I think opportunities are increasing for women. Let's hope it stays that way. And uh, let's hope you don't need a witness for much longer. But uh, you're going to witness greatness after this. Rob Talbot's joining us.